might have seen several wondrous things across the world, but nothing prepares you for the first sight of the Statue of Unity. You probably know the figures by now, but there's no harm in reiterating them. 182 meters tall, some 1700 tons of bronze went into making this. But the man who it depicts deserves it. Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel, after all, was the unifier of modern India. We are here because of Hyundai's Great India Drive that celebrates India's unity and diversity. And the route that we've chosen from Kevadia to Kanyakumari honours other larger-than-life figures from across the centuries. And what are we driving? Well, the Hyundai Venue, of course. Our journey is over 1000 kilometers and our first pit stop will be at Nasik. But along the way, there are places we'd like to explore. There's Rajpipla, which is just coming up. We're in the venue for various reasons and one of them is that it is India's first connected car. Take its Blue Link technology as an example. Now, not only does it give you real-time traffic updates and live points of interest, but it also does something really cool. Watch this. How can I help you? Navigate to a restaurant near me. Rajpipla, once a princely state, has excellent Gujarati thalis. But as amazing is the Rajwant Palace. Built over a century ago, it's got these beautiful classical columns, Gothic arches and Venetian doors. It looks like a nice place to stay overnight, but we have many miles to go to get to our destination and the road beckons. I've set cruise control to 79, that's 1 kph less than the speed warning. And at these speeds, this car is so quiet, so refined and so smooth, it makes for a great, comfortable, relaxed highway car. Time flies when you're having fun on the road. And we get to our destination, Mangitungi, a twin pinnacle peak about 130 kilometers from Nasik. Both Mangi and Tungi are of great significance to Jains and feature caves with engravings and images of Jainism's most revered teachers and Tirthankars. While the ancients engraved images of their spiritual guides in caves, the modern built gigantic statues as a tribute. And we've come for the 108 feet tall Statue of Ahimsa. The statue of Ahimsa depicts the first of 24 Jain Tirthankars, Rishabantha. Ahimsa or non-violence is considered as the most essential duty by Jains and Rishabantha was the first individual to articulate the founding tenets of Jainism. This statue is carved out of a single rock from the Mangi Tungi Hills and it also holds the world record for the tallest Jain idol. Peace also unifies people, another symbol of unity. Well, the peaceful time in the hills was great and now I have to continue on my road trip connecting the dots of history. Mm -hmm. 